Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 32 of the command 66 day challenge. We've been focusing on lead accelerator and we've got about one more challenge left right now um, with regards to lead accelerator creating campaigns. Today, we're going to do a real mailer campaign. Real mailer campaign is exactly what it sounds like. It's going to send out real mail. So it's actually postcards that we can design that we can get into the mail to a targeted group of homeowners and we'll walk through what that looks like now. So let's start off real mailer test one. We're going to advertise a listing. We're going to click on configure. Next, we're going to search through our listings. We're going to select the listing that we want to utilize. Recognize here that it does say that's a low res picture, 682 out of 1024. So we're gonna to wanna to get that uh, changed. Right now you could go into edit channels, but this is still a real mailer campaign. So we're gonna leave that alone. It gives us three different styles of templates that we can utilize with regards to our postcards. So this one is 79 cent standard or 99 first class, and it is six by nine. The other two are six by 11s and they are 89 cents standard or $1.20 first class. So we're gonna stay with the six by nine right now. Um, and earlier it showed us that our photo, again down here shows us that it's too low res. So it says here we want 1800 by 2700 pixels in a JPEG, JPEG or PNG format. So let's select a picture. I've actually already selected one to resize. And we're gonna go into, let's find those. There we go. So I actually took one of these photos. So let's just say, I'll do it just to kind of show you guys. So let's say we wanted to lead with the master bath. That was the photo we wanted to put on the postcard. It's gonna show up as still too low res, 682 to 1024. Uh, most PCs are gonna have paint installed on them as a desktop app. I'm not sure what it is for Macs, but I'm pretty sure there's a Mac program available for resizing photos. We're just going to go in, we're going to open that master bath. We're going to come into resize. We're going to select pixels. We know it wanted us to be 1800 by 2700. We're going to click on OK. And then I'm going to save that photo now as I could save it master bath real mailers. Now that photo has been resized to the appropriate size and resolution for it to be uploaded. So we're not going to go with the um, we're going to do main living space, which I've already resized on Rear Mailers. So I'll click that one and you can see it shows up with no error message. Down here, we've got the description. So we can go ahead and put that in. Uh, note that we have a thousand characters. So um, reach out, I'm going to do a call to action. Reach out today to schedule your tour. All right, it pulls in the information from the MLS based upon us linking up. Label, what do we want to call this postcard? So what do we want to have on the postcard very large? Let's put just listed because it did just go listed. Now, um, the marketing profile that we set up is not connected to real mailers right now. So you will have to upload both your profile pic and your brokerage um, picture. So just a heads up there. And I have those under marketing and logos, my headshot. So I'll pull that one up and then come down and get the mark the brokerage photo and upload that one and double check always pull cell phone and double check these numbers for some reason sometimes the MLS pulls in my office number when I want my cell phone number listed so I'm going to double check that once I have all of that information and those logos created the picture uploaded I can click on create and customize it says yes. Then it's going to go ahead and contact and connect with real mailers where I can start deciding how many homes I want to send this postcard out to and um, how much I want to spend on that campaign. And you'll see when we get into the real mailers campaign, we can kind of tweak what that looks like. So it starts basically where our target property is and then begins pulling homes around the area. <coughs> Excuse me. So if we zoom out, we can kind of see and if we come to the top. It'll show that it's targeting 200 homes in the area of all property types, of all bedrooms, square footage, year built, year last sold, last sold for. Okay, so um, here's what I wanna do. I'm gonna do only single family. And um, let's see, this is a one one. So I don't really need to be targeting people that live in anything really bigger than probably a three, maybe even a two bedroom. Let's see what that does. So then you can see it's kind of spreading out where it's going to be targeting based upon the criteria that I'm looking for. 
Now, if I don't want to spend $198, I can say, hey, I'm only gonna target, let's do 100 homes, right? The slider is kind of particular. So we'll do 100 homes nearby, single family, two bedroom. This is a 642 square foot. So let's go down to, let's go down to like 1200-ish. Well, got me 994, okay. Um, year built, we can use that. Now year last sold, I don't need to target anyone that just bought a house. So let's say they have to have bought the house at least seven years ago. That's gonna put 2012. And then last sold for, this is only 125,000. So I can target people that are in homes that sold for, let's just say less than 300-ish. All right, so then you can see. And so basically as we kind of go through this criteria, you'll see the addresses that it's going to target this postcard to. I can decide whether I want to send it by first class mail or not, and obviously that's gonna change the price. I can also send a copy to my address, so that way I make sure that I get one. Next, I would just click on the next button, and then it's gonna give you the summary. So the cool thing is, if you submit these orders before 3 p.m. on a business day, it actually goes into production that same day, and then gets sent out pretty quickly thereafter. So literally it's saying four to six business days, um, people will have that that, uh, excuse me, you'll have the business card, or excuse me, the postcard in your mailbox. So if we come up to the top, we can kind of see what the preview looks like. So we can get an idea, take a look at the information. You can view a larger preview, so you can actually read, make sure that everything looks good with regards to your postcard. Um, obviously a lot of text that I have on here, you can see the branding down here at the bottom is just gonna send out to the current resident at those places, and then also send one uh, from here, right? So. You get all that information, you kind of see an idea of what it looks like. You can go back into your campaign. If you're happy with everything, then essentially you're just gonna come down here and click on make a payment and it'll start sending out those postcards. So that's it guys, that is a real mailer campaign. How to make that happen, how to send that out, um, how to kind of tweak who you're gonna send it out to and then figure out how much you're gonna to pay to send those postcards out. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic Saturday and as always, I will look forward to talking to you tomorrow. Thanks so much.